In their adopted home in Mount Barker, these Afghan Hazara women are preparing a meal for their families. They came to Australia fleeing persecution by the Taliban. Now they want to help family members stuck overseas to do the same. First my sister came to Pakistan, then my brother followed because my father used to work for the government. The Taliban had brutally beaten him once with the bottom end of a gun and he's now scared they'll come after him in Pakistan. For some of these people, it's been more than 10 years since they've seen their relatives. We want the refugees from Afghanistan to get out of this poverty and helplessness. But now the local council is offering to help by backing visa applications. We've also agreed to propose, which is uh, be responsible for some of the people that don't have the ability to uh, bring people in, look after them into Plantagenet. So we're helping the locals help, help themselves. The council hopes its support will be enough to bring more people to the region to reduce a shortage of labour. They're very hard workers. Uh, they really appreciate the opportunity they have here in the, in the Great Southern and, and they're also great members of the community. But even with council support, it could take years for applications to be processed. In a statement provided to the ABC, the Department of Home Affairs says it's committed to supporting the Afghan community. It says just over 30,000 places have been allocated for Afghan nationals over the next four years. In the meantime, this community is prepared to keep working to bring their loved ones to safety. We have to try to get our people here so we can stand on our own two feet. Asha Couch, ABC News, Mount Barker.